Today we're going to look at times Google Maps saved lives. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Castaway. For a lot of people, their biggest fear is getting washed up on an abandoned island, kind of like the movie Castaway. Well, that's exactly what's happened to three sailors in 2016. One night, their boat was having trouble and they had to swim to a deserted island. This island was called Fanadique and it was several hundred miles north of Papua New Guinea. For three days, they were stranded on this island. The men had no knowledge of how to survive in nature, but they did use stones to spell out the word help. Soon, someone using a Google satellite was able to see the word help spelt out in stones. Then a US Navy plane flew above the island and saw the men's signal. Thankfully, the US Navy landed and rescued the men. All of the sailors have now retired from boating, and I can see why. Next up is Homecoming. When you're a kid, there's nothing scarier than getting lost. We all know that fear of losing our parents in a supermarket. Well, if you think that's bad, then hear the story of one kid named Saru. When Saru was five years old, he got on board a runaway train in India. He was then separated from his village and his family and had no way to get home. He had to start a whole new life all by himself, and for 23 years he searched for his family. But because he was so young when he was separated from them, he couldn't remember where they were or where they lived. He couldn't even remember his family's last name. However, he did remember one thing. That was that his hometown was closed off by two bridges. So when he was older and when Google Maps was invented, he went on the site. Using the knowledge of the two bridges closing off his town, he was able to find it on Google Maps. He traveled to his town and was able to find his family. Saru credits Google Maps and Earth with saving his life. He says without his family, he wasn't really living. But now he lives with them reunited, all thanks to Google Maps. Next up is Forest Escape. Every year, 60 people go missing in national parks around the USA. Some of them are gigantic and people like to go off trail, which is why they get lost. This is what happened to one 15-year-old boy named Austin Bohannon in 2017. He's from Tennessee, USA, and one day went hiking off a trail. This was in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. He was walking alone and soon lost his way and he realized he had no phone signal either. For 11 days, he walked around the national park with no food and no water. He had been reported missing and rangers had gone out to look for him. But they didn't want too many people to go out because they didn't want to destroy any tracks left by Austin. On the 11th day, he realized that while his phone didn't have signal, he may be able to get a GPS signal. He turned his phone on and sure enough, Google Maps led him out of the area. He was led to an area called Tabcat Creek. There he was able to get to a local town and explain what had happened. He was taken to a local hospital and was treated for exhaustion and dehydration. He said if it wasn't for Google Maps and GPS, he would have never made it out of the forest alive. So guys, remember, never go off trail when you're walking in a national park. Next up is corporate kidnapping. We all know that Google can be used for solving crimes. But what about stopping an ongoing crime? That's what happened to Sander Cochlear in 2015. Sander worked for the British business SMET UK Limited. But one day as he was going to work, an ex-employee of the company named John Charles kidnapped him. John Charles, the ex-employee, was very bitter. Apparently his boss owed him money, which is why he kidnapped Sander. He wanted to use Sander to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him and his former boss. But when John kidnapped Sander, Sander was able to hide his phone from John. Sander then waited until John had left the room, and then he used Google Maps and sent his location to his boss. When his boss got the Google Map link to his location, he drove there immediately. And thankfully, he was able to save his employee, Sander. The police were also called, and they arrested John. John was then sentenced to eight years in jail. Next up is Missing Car. In October of 2006, a man named David Lee Niles went missing. He was last seen one night leaving Jake Spur in Byron Township, Michigan. For years, his family searched day and night trying to find him alive somewhere. At the time of his disappearance, he was 67 years old. This means he may not have fared too well if he got lost somewhere. But five years later in 2011, the family lost hope. Even though they prayed every day he was still alive, they thought he was probably not. Then six years later in 2017, a car was found and David was inside it. The car was found because someone was looking at a pond on Google Maps. From the satellite images, they realized a car was submerged in the pond. Inside the car was David's skeleton, which is very sad. So while Google Maps didn't save his life, it did save his family from having to wonder about what happened to him. 
Thankfully, they now have answers as to what happened to their loved relative. Some family members even said they weren't really living, not knowing where David was. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.